There we go, we're recording. Right, okay, so it is strength tonight. So just to double check with the people that we've got on here, and then if anybody's watching this back, then obviously um, what we did last time is I just showed alternatives to things depending on what people had in terms of equipment. So I've got like a set of five kilogram dumbbells. Uh, Christine, what have you got? They're about eight. About an eight, right. Julie, what have you got? Nine. Nines. Julia? I've got, I've got a kettlebell. Eight, I think. Eight? Yeah. Margaret? I've only got threes. Because threes, right, that's work. okay. And Nikki, what have you got? I've only got fives. I have right. got some random ones, but that's only pair I've got. Right, okay. So that's actually not so bad because then what I'll do is, because some people have got fairly heavy and then Margaret, Nikki have got kind of lightish to medium. So Nikki's yeah. got about the same as me. So Margaret, probably what you do is a bit more tempo work, but I'll tell you as we're right. going along, because that's what I say to people, if they haven't got the weight that they would usually do, Quicker you're try and like slow things down and make the muscles work harder over a longer period right. because obviously you're normally used to lifting something a bit heavier so yeah. that's what we'll we'll try to do so as we go along um just for the first bit i'll not mute people because then i'll just double check with everybody to see how people are managing with their weight if it gets too heavy uh, like too hard because they're too heavy then I'll give you an alternative because you can still do things just holding like the one dumbbell. So we'll just go along and we'll just see how we how we get on. Um, and then there might be some people who don't really have dumbbells. What I would suggest is to pause the recording, try to find something in the house. Even if I've said before, like tins of paint are great, you know, for for weight. Um, or even if you've got even when you're squatting, if you had like a haversack and shove a brick in it or something like that, and you can have some, at least it's some weight that you can use. But um, we'll just see how it goes. So like I say, I'll not, um, I'll not mute anybody yet, unless uh, Margaret starts groaning on like, then I might mute her. <laughs> other, than that, other than that, uh, it just means I can communicate with you a bit better and we can change things up if need be. Okie doke. So we will just do um, full body. So we'll start um, like legs, work our way to like shoulders, chest, back, and then a little bit of maybe a tiny bit of abs, um, but some um, biceps and triceps as well. So we will try and hit every single part of the body. We will start uh, with a warm up. And then um, we'll crack on with legs. So as I'm standing up, I've just got to readjust readjust the, uh, the height. Yeah, perfect. I'll get a bit of, bit of music going. Just to... Right. Okie doke. So we'll start just with uh, some squats to warm up. Already I'm going to have to take this bloody jumper off. I'm not sure why I put the heating on. Keep going, squats. <coughs> You more. And we're going to go into some forward lunges. Make sure that your knee is in line with your toe. And as you're pushing up, you're pushing back up through the heel. Somebody's trying to get in. I knew this would happen. View. There we go. Right, they're coming in. We've just started. We're just doing a warm-up. Hi, Susan. Sorry. It's all right. We're just starting a warm-up. Okay. So we're just squatting. We're doing some lunges. I think uh, Jill's just come on there as well. So, uh, yeah, forward lunges we've been doing. Let's go into reverse lunges. So Catherine and Jill 
All we've done so far is just some squats, um, some forward lunges. We're just going into reverse lunges. And we're going to go into side lunges. Catherine? Yeah? What weights have you got? Um, I've got a range of light to medium, really. All right, okay, right. And Jill? Is Jill there? Jill, are you there? Yeah. I think if I remember last time she had a kettlebell. And let's do walkouts. Walk out and back. And walking out and back. And walking out. On the next walk out, walk out, drop to your knees if you need to, but we're just going to do a couple of press ups. And then walk back again. And we'll do that again. Walking out, press ups. And back. And this time when you walk out, you're going to bring knee to elbow a couple of times on each side. There we go. And walking back. And we'll do that again. Walking out. Knee to elbow. And as we come up, we're going to circle the shoulders. And bigger circles. Clickety click. There we go. Fabulous. Right. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start with squats. If you've got um, the heavy dumbbells, I would probably start just for your first set, just with the one, we're gonna do a goblet squat. Margaret, you're gonna obviously hold both yeah. of yours. So you can put both of yours at the side. Uh -huh. So you're either squatting like both of them. Like that. If you've got a heavy dumbbell, you might wanna go like that just for the first set, just till we get myself sorted. 12 reps. Remember, in your squat position, nose up at nose. He good. Knees are pointing to toes. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So down and up. Down and up. Remember, squeezing the bum. And we are taking our time with these because we're not going as heavy as what we normally would. If that's uncomfortable with the arms being out there, you can just bring them together and do them on the inside. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. And a relax. Right, I'm going to mute. Mute everybody now. Just wave at us furiously if you need us. Now we're going to slow them right down. So we're going to do tempo. If you've got uh, heavier dumbbells, if you think you can manage with both of them, that's absolutely fine. If you've got lightish ones and we want to make it that bit harder, we're going to go slowly down. Hold it at the, uh, at the bottom for one and then push up through the heels. Okie dokie. Now you can do it either there or there, whatever's most comfortable for you. Here we go. So we're going down slowly, 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 hold and push up through the uh, heels. 
slowly, 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 slowly hold, push up through the heels. Slow. Down we'll go. It's like a four second and then a one second and then a push up. And down we'll go. Number four. Slowly hold and push up. Slowly down, 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 down. Hold and push up. Good. And slowly down, 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 down. Hold and push up. Good. Keep it going. Halfway. Down, 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 down. Hold and then push up. Always pushing up through the heels. Hold and then push up. Good. Four more to go. Down, down, down. Hold and push up. Good. Down, 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 down. Hold and push up. Good. Two more. Down, 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 down. Hold and push up. Last one. Down, 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 down. Hold and push up. Good. Little breather. I'm going to turn off my heating. What was I thinking? Dear me. Woo! Very good, good. Another set to go. So now you've got an idea with the weight that you've got. If you've got really heavy ones and you can't manage to go that slowly, that's fine. Just do a normal squat, push back up. Normal squat, push back up. Obviously for the people where they've got lighter dumbbells, we're trying to really slow that down. Whew. Right, here we go again. Dumbbells ready, 12 reps again. Three, two, one, let's go. So I'm going down, 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 holding it and pushing up. Down, 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 down. Slowly and pushing up. As you're doing this, really start thinking about your bum. Pushing up through the heels, squeezing that bum as much as you can. Down and push up and down, 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 down. Hold it and push up. Down, 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 down. And push up, good. Down, 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 down. And push up, good. This is number eight. Down, down, down. Hold and push up, good. Number nine. And push up, good. Down, 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 down. And push up, number 10. Two more to go. Down, down, down. Hold and push up, good. Last one. Down, down, down down, hold, and push up, good, 12 done, well done, Woo! little breather, and we're going to move on, Woo! now, going to combine the forward lunge and the reverse lunge, I'll put this down so you can see my legs a little bit, just when, now, options, you can do it just body weight. We're going to go forward to the middle, back to the middle. You're doing six of those on the right, six of those on the left. So it's forward to the middle, back to the middle. That's one. Six on each side. If you want to, if you've got a heavy dumbbell, you might just want to do it with the one dumbbell to there and then back. If you've got light dumbbells, then you probably want to have a go with both. So there, 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 and there. Okie dokie. 
So here we go. We're going to do start with six on each leg. Whew. Right, here we go. In your own time, three, two, one, let's go. So forward, to the middle, back, to the middle, forward, to the middle, back, to the middle. As you go forward, you're pushing up through that heel. As you're going back, you're pushing through the heel at the front. So it's there, and there, push through the heel, good, two more. There, and in, and back, and in. And forward and in and back and in. That's six done. Other side when you're ready. Forward and back. Make sure when you're going into that forward lunge, your knee is in line with your toe. Make sure your full foot plants the floor. That's three. Four. Number four. And back. Number five. And back. And number six. And back. And relax. First set done. Woo! Blame your top here now. Now, second set. I'm going to move it up to eight reps for me. So I'm going to do six, eight, and then 10. You can do that if you want. Margaret's got quite light weights, Margaret. So if you were wanting to go straight in and do more reps on each leg, that's entirely up to you. If you've got really heavy weights, you might want a six. You might say six is enough. That's absolutely fine. We're just repeating the same thing. Do somewhere between six to ten reps if you can okie doke depending on your weight here we go so start with the leg that you started with first so mine's my right leg off you go forward and back forward and back it's three and back, four, and back, and five, back, six, and back. Now I'm going for a couple more, seven, back, now I'm going to do one more and I'll just see what everybody else is doing. You can do a couple more if you want to. Yeah. See if everybody's all right. As soon as you finish that leg, you're going into the other leg. Woo! And back. Keep that core nice and tight. I'm be doing somewhere between six and ten. This is number six for me. And number seven. And I'm going to do one more. Eight. And back. You can do another two more if you want, if you've got lighter weight. Nice, well done. Good, good, good. Have a little drink. We've got another set to go. Again. We're going to do the same. You just decide according to your weight whether you're going to do six uh, or up to ten uh, on each leg. Okie doke. 
Remember, this is not a race. We're keeping it slow for a purpose, making them muscles work harder and for a longer period of time rather than anything quick. So here we go. Third and final set. Again, going with what you can manage. Starting with the same leg you started with. Here we go. Forward and back. And forward and back. And forward and back. Woo! Keep that core nice and tight. Try to look ahead. Focused on something ahead. Very good, very good. I'm going for 10 this time. That's eight for me. Nine. Another one. 10. And behind, good. A few seconds before you change legs. Should be feeling a little bit of a burn. Woo! Here we go, other leg. Forward and back. And forward and back. And forward and back. Forward and back. Woo! Forward and back. Keep it going, if you can. I've got two more. Forward and back. Last one for me. Forward and back. Woo! Whew. Woo, well done. A little drink. Could do one more for legs and then we'll move on to a, a little bit of upper body. Whew. Okay, so the next one again, I'll show you without first. We're going to be in that low squat position, we're going to do a tap back, a tap back, a tap out and a tap out. That's one rep. So it's back, back, side, side. That's one rep. If you want to hold dumbbells, you can. If you've got heavy dumbbells, maybe try with just the one first, like that. Yeah. If you want to go with body weight first and see how it feels and then add some weight for the next two, you can. It's entirely up to you. But this is going to be a bit of a burner because really you're doing four movements per one rep. Woo! So we're going to start with 10 reps to see how we go. Are we ready? So down we go. And we're off. Back, back, side, side. That's one. Back, back, side, side. That's two. Back, back, side, side. That's three. Back, back, side, four. Back, back, side, side. That's five. Whoop, back. Back, side, that's six. Back, back, side, seven. Back, back, side, that's eight. Woo, the burn. Back, side, side, that's nine. Back, back, side, side, that's 10. Woo. Getting my foot on them. 
Any burn. Can't oh, blame me, the sweat's dripping off me. Shouldn't have had that heat on. Woo! Right. Second set. Up to you. Whether you're adding any weight or not. Here we go. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Back. Back. Side. Side. Back. Back. Side. Side. That's two. Back. Back. Side. Side. That's three. Back. Back. Side. That's four. Back. Back. Side. That's five, back, back, side. That's six, back, back, side. Seven. That's eight, back, back, side. That's nine, back, back, side. That's 10. Finish off in your own time. Ooh. Ooh. God bless me. I have to try and open it. Get some heat in. Air some breeze in, I think. Oh. Right. We've got another, another set to go. Oh, we're ready. Down we go, here we go. And back, and back, and side, and side, and back, and back, and side, and side. Back and back, side, side. You're staying down as low as you can. So if I turn to the side, keep going. That's my position there. Back and back, and side and side. So the higher you come up, the easier it is. Yeah, so you're trying to sit down. Back, back. Notice my hip height isn't really changing. Yeah, so I'm not bouncing up and down. Yeah, keep it going, keep it going. I've just stopped to show. Whoo! Number eight, for me, you might be ahead. There, there. That's nine. Last one, there, there. Out and out. Whoo! Whoo! Well done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well done. Have a drink. So we're going to move on. Whew. Bloody hell, sweat is dropping off me. So we're going to do some shoulders. We're going to do a shoulder press. Now, Margaret, absolutely, because you've got threes, you're going to be doing tempo work. So just exactly what we did with the squats at the start, up and then slowly down, and then back up again. If you've got heavy dumbbells, um, you might want to sit up against to su support your back, or even sit on your settee on the end sitting down with nines is really really hard so you might want to just do the one you can of course stand up if you want to if you've got heavy ones it's a little bit easier than sitting down 
All right, I'm gonna sit down so that I can, people can see me here. The key is if you're sitting down though, you must have a straight back. You need to pull your core, right? Don't slouch, you're gonna to put too much pressure on your back. So like I say, you can sit up against your settee or if you've got a dining chair handy, sit on your dining chair so it's supporting your back or heavy dumbbells, you're standing up or you're using one dumbbell when you're sitting down. Okay, Margaret's doing tempo work because she's only got threes. The rest of us, fives, you probably, if you're sitting down, you'll probably be all right with the 12. We'll see how we go. So here we go. Now you can either have them that way. People like uh, Christine with shoulder injuries, you might be better off doing it with what's called a neutral grip like that. Doesn't make any difference, whatever feels most comfortable for you for today. So I'll do it both ways and then you can see. All right, 12 reps, here we go. Nice and slow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, if you've got heavier dumbbells and you can't quite reach your 12 reps, that's absolutely fine. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12, and relax, have a little breather. Now, first set might have felt feely, feely? fairly comfortable. Remember, we've got two more sets to go. If it was really comfortable, you're gonna slow them reps down. So fast going up, slow coming down. Fast going up, slow coming down. Whew. So I'm going to do mine this way, overhand grip this time. Dear, my sweat patches on me again. Whew. Right, here we go. So I'm going to do it this way. Are we ready? Off we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And relax, Woo! felt it a bit more in that second set. Remember, try and have the back supported if you can, or you must sit up straight. Seti like, is great for just giving you that little bit of extra support. Ooh wee. A few more seconds. And we'll do another, another round. Right, here we go. I'm gonna go back to neutral grip. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they're getting heavy. Ten, eleven. And 12, and relax, well done, well done. Woo, little bit of a breather, get a drink if you want. Oh, get my drink. Right, 
Right, so we're going to stay down. We're going to do some chest press. And we're going to do, what else did I have? Yes, I did, press ups with this. Wonderful. Whoa, so we're going to do, I'm just going to knock my camera down. So chest press. So again, we're going from here, elbows should be touching the floor. We're doing with chest press. Again, someone like Margaret, or if you're finding the fives are too easy for you, you're going up, you're coming down nice and slow. And we're going up, down nice and slow. If you've got the nines, eights or nines, and you can manage that, great. If you can't, you're gonna take a hold of one of the dumbbells and you're just gonna push it up and nicely, slowly coming down. Push it up, nice and slowly coming down. Yeah, so there's a couple of options there. Once we've done with 12 reps, put them down, turn over, and go into some press-ups. I'm not really gonna set an amount. If you can do 10 press-ups, great, do 10. If you can do 12, great. If you can do two, do two, right? Just, we're going for what we can. Okie doke, so particularly after you've done shoulders and then doing some chest press, then press-ups are gonna feel heavier. So again, that's your chest press position there. If that hurts too much, if you get rotator cuff problems, you could do it that way. Yeah, so whatever feels comfortable for you. Oh, we're ready. 12 reps, let's go. Pushing up, nice and easy coming down and pressing up. Now, as you're doing the chest press, as they're coming together at the top, think about squeezing the chest together. Squeeze them together and slowly bringing them down and squeeze and coming down. The dumbbells should come down to the side of the chest. Too many people have it too high up and it's too close to the shoulder. So you need it coming down to the side of your chest. That's it, good, 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 good. Three more. Remember when you're finished your 12, you're gonna go over into your press ups. Slowly down, that's it, 12 done. Just be careful coming up. Walking over. Yeah, are we ready? One, two, three. Ucha, ucha, feel in my shoulders. Oh. We all right? There's 10. I'm gonna do 10 for now. So we've got two more sets to go. Woo! Have a little drink. My shoulders a bit iffy. What time we on? That's all right. Goody good, good. Right, here we go again, again, 12 chest press. I my shoulders a bit tight. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Woo, right, in your own time, off you go. Remember, nice and slowly, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing it, with the heavy dumbbells and you're going for it or whether you're doing one dumbbell, it's all about control. Nice and slow, keep everything tight. My core, even though I'm doing chest press, is still tight because a tight core is gonna help my technique. There we go. Remember to breathe. Good, very good. Three more for me. Two. 
once you've done your 12, going into your press ups. Oh, yeah, yeah. My shoulders are not like this tonight. Right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to stop there with that shoulder. Oh, oh. Ooh, well done, everybody. Got another set to go. Oh, what have I done with my water? There it is. Right, here we go. Last set. Right. Here we go. When you're ready, and you're on tight, you're doing your 12 again. Twelve, good. And then your final set of press ups. Oh, my word. And a bit of biceps and triceps. Now, the back one we're going to probably have to do a little bit differently, depending on what size weight you've got. If you have got um, a heavy weight, so you've got your nines or tens you're probably going to have to use your settee and do a one-arm row. Yeah. If you've got lighter dumbbells, then you can do, go that way so you can see, you can do a bent over row with both of your dumbbells. Um, Margaret, who's got threes, you might be better off doing some rear delts. So going there, so going outwards with your threes. It's actually doing a little bit of work for your rear delts, which is on the back of your shoulder there, as well as doing a little bit of work for your back. It's mainly rear delts, back of your shoulders. So heavy dumbbells, you're doing your one arm row. Anything that's fairly lightish, maybe fives you're probably going to be able to do both together and then margaret's either going to do that or she's going to do that one the rear delts okie dokie so choose which one you're going to do i'll do a little bit of everything just to show everybody so i'll start with that one one arm row so one arm row, people, you're going to do 10 to 12 on each arm. 
bent over row, you're going to try to get somewhere between 12 and 15 reps, because you're not doing obviously on both sides. And then same with the, the flies, somewhere between 12 and 15. Okie dokie. Right, here we go. So because we're all doing something a little bit different, try, I'm going to count mine, but obviously count your own just to be on the safe side. Key point to this is make sure your backs are straight though. Yeah, so none of this business. Hurting my backs with bent was push the stomach down and your bum goes back. Yeah, nice and straight. Here we go. Looking for the squeeze as well. So the arm comes back there. Yeah, so it's like a roll back and there. It's a little bit on the diagonal for your rows rather than straight up. We're trying to hit the lats. So that's pulling back there. So anything between 10 to 12. The other people you're doing 12 to 15. I'm going to swap over just so I can keep an eye on everybody, swapping the hands. Yeah, back nice and straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Have a little breather. Ooh. Whew. Whew. Little drink. And then we're getting ready for second round. So again, depending on the size of your weights. I'm going to do bent over row this time. So I'm changing it up a little bit just to show people. Here we go. We're there. Go when you're ready. It, make sure you've got straight backs. Very good. Very good. Little breather. If you've been uh, having a breather for, for a while, like the bent over row people, you can go into your third your third round. And one arm roll, people, you're probably getting ready to go in again. That's it. That's it, keep it nice and slow. That's it, good, good, good. I have just noticed Julie Lee's got a bar. Where did that one sneak from? She's got all the gadgets. Very good, very good. That's it, nice, nice, nice. I'm just watching everybody. That's it, think about nice and controlled. Very good, very good. Driving the elbow back. Remember, we're trying to hit the lats here. So it's like driving it back. Good, 
Very good. Bad, Julia, your shoulders are looking great. Look very good. Yeah. Really good shoulders. Well done. A little breather. We're going to finish with a bit of biceps and triceps. Let's see if Julie Lee can bicep that bar. Woo! <laughs> right. So we're going to do bicep curls again. It's going to depend on uh, the weight of your dumbbells. I'm just going to go on my knees a minute so people can see. Uh, Margaret, you're definitely going to do both at the same time and just nice and slow on the way down. Nice and slow. Yeah, people with the heavier dumbbells, you're probably going to have to do one at, one at a time. But make sure, start, as soon as you start to get to this point where we're doing this and we're going back, uh, 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 you need to stop. Should be able to curl like that. Yeah, without doing this business to get it up. Yeah. So just watch what you're doing. So we're going to do bicep curls, singles or doubles. If we're doing singles, we're still just going to do the 12. And then we're going to go um, into an overhead extension for those triceps. Now, Margaret, for you, a three ain't going to cut it. So try to start with, see, see how it works with both at the same time like that. If that's still no good with both of the dumbbells doing that, maybe you could do um, tricep dips instead off your sofa. That's another possibility. Okay. So here we go. Nice straight backs. Yeah, from there, 12 reps. Let's go. So I'm just going to do singles because most people will be doing singles. I'm going nice and slow. If you're doing both at the same time, just make sure you're still doing it with control. Yeah, it's either there or you're doing it one at a time. We're not having a swing like this. Yeah, nice and controlled. As soon as you've done your 12, you're then gonna pop one down. If you've got a heavy one, I'm just going on the knees so you can see on the screen. And then we're pushing up pushing up. Remember, it's all coming from the elbows. If you're struggling with it above there or it's not heavy enough, you can use both. Make sure your elbows are forward and you're doing that. So Margaret could be doing that. If that's still no good for you, tricep dips off the edge, off the edge of your settee. Okay. So whatever is good enough with your dumbbells. Very good, very good. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking nice. Well done. And then a little breather. Woo! How's the time doing? Perfect timing. Good. Woo! A few seconds and we'll go into that again. Now you've got to feel for your weight. You should know whether you're able to do doubles or if you stick it to those singles. Whatever you're doing, it's nice and controlled. And then you're either doing your one there or you're doing two. Make sure the two, we haven't got our elbows out like this and we're doing this. Keep the elbows in and it's there like that. Or we're doing tricep dips. Here we go. Right, when you're ready, let's go. Nice and controlled. So Margaret, for you, if you're there, you could be doing one, two, three, four, down, up, one, two, three, four. Even people with the fives, if they wanted to try that, really slowing that down, yeah, you can by all means do that. Just watch that back. Oh, we're doing the singles. Like that. Oh, you're doing the doubles with like a 2-2 tempo. 
Yeah, make sure you've got your 12 in. And then you're going into your tricep work, wherever you're up to. Two, three, four, five. So you've got up there. Now I've done eight of those. I'll just move to that one so people can see that one again. Elbows in, pushing up. Now that is quite hard with the fives. So just be careful with that one. All you're doing, you try to set dips. That's it. Good, 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 good. Well done. We're nearly there. We've got one more set to go. Ooh. I may think I've drunk nearly a litre there. Woo. Right, a few more seconds and then we'll go into our last, last set and then we'll have a little bit of a stretch. Woo. Right, when you're ready. Bicep curls. Yeah. There we go. Nice and slow and controlled. You could even do your one with a nice slow tempo. It's all about the control. Squeeze the bicep. There we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. Once you're done, into your tricep work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, Ooh. very good, very good, everybody. Now, just while we're finishing off, I'll just unmute. How do I get people to unmute again? I can never remember. Should be a button on here. Which press, the top, press the left hand and then you ask to unmute. Yeah, it's normally there's yeah. a, I've asked, yeah, I've done that. Exactly. Sure last, yeah, I've done that for everybody, but I'm sure last time I could That's just press a button good. and it just unmutes everybody. But I have to ask everybody this time round, which is a bit of a faff on. Never mind, we're there. Everybody all right? Yeah. yeah. Now that wasn't bad for our first one. Back in the swing of it again. Woo, we'll just have a little, little stretch out. We've got a couple of minutes. So let's start with those triceps first, actually, since we've been there. So we'll just remember, don't hold on to the elbow. Just try and hold on to your tricep and push it backwards. And hold that position. There we go. Woo! Was everybody all right? Because everybody had like different size weights, yeah. which is a bit tricky. Well, I've, I've, I've got some bands now. I've got some really heavy bands. So, uh, yeah. Well, you might be able to um, just try to think with some of the. Um, Even like the chest press, you see. Yeah. Probably what's Good. better for you is using a band. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. But when have I got when's is band work uh for it's Friday? Friday I'm gonna do a hit right. and a bit of band work in that one. Mm. Uh both track, yeah. So shoulders across. Uh so tomorrow morning 
is a hit with a little bit of strength of those people that weren't on tonight or just like about a halfy half on that a couple of little different things uh thursday night strength again friday is hit and band work and saturday i put boot camp because i'm going to do a little bit of everything <laughs> <laughs> i might even put like um switch arms if you haven't I might even put a little routine together and post it in the group and then everybody knows what it's going to be. Yeah, great. I'll have a, th I'll have a think about that. Get me thinking, cat on. It's not as if we can whip out some um, battle ropes or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> whip out them battle ropes from under you. <laughs> yes, dear me. Right, have a little lie down. Oh, I've put it the wrong way and we're just going to have a good stretch out of the back, oh. through the hands, through the feet. Deep breaths in. And then just bring one leg in. switch legs <coughs> was oh, that someone doing that tea <laughs> pop in for the microwave <laughs> Pop that foot up. Let's do a hamstring stretch. Remember, keep the lower back on the floor. Don't let it lift up. Yeah, tell you what, from this angle, I can see how uh, dusty my... Um... <laughs> <laughs> my lampshade is. I'm you know, like, because I've never been underneath it. <laughs> I'm looking now going, D at me. <laughs> Forget the dust are out on that. <laughs> Switch legs if you haven't already done so. Oh. And relax. Let's just have a, a roll over onto um, hands and knees. Put bum to, oh, I'm too close to the thing. Bump to uh, your heels and stretch out. Oh, it's my favorite stretch. And relax. Oh, lovely. Well done, everybody. I don't know about everybody else, but I was sweating there. Yeah, snap. Oh. 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 I think I swear. Look at the sweat patches. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Right, so I might see some of you in the morning. Oh, there's Jill. Hi. I was shouting at you at the start. Could you not I hear know. us? No, I couldn't get the volume on. Oh. But trouble getting the computer on, then had trouble with the volume. So sorry I was late. Oh no, it's all right. It was just I was going through equipment. Did you only have, did you have dumbbells or just a kettlebell? No, no, I had dumbbells. Oh, you had them, right. I, I haven't just got my kettlebells anymore. I've got some dumbbells. Oh, and that's what I'm saying, because at the start I was like, I'm sure Jill's just got a kettlebell. <laughs> right, <laughs> no, all no, right. Sorry, I, I have no Wait. volume. All right, that's all right then. Fab, right. So I'll put this recording will go into the group so you can use it again at any time. Um, and I might see some of you at half past six in the morning then. I'll be there. Peace okay. tomorrow. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye